today I'm going to introduce a knitting calculator app. Search for knitting calculator on Google Play Store. I forgot the password of this blue color app and I can't update this app. So install this red app. You can install this app by clicking the link below the video. This app has three menus, calculate increase decrease stitches, convert to my gauge, length calculator. Using this app, I'm going to convert the stitches and rows of Knitting Man's top down sweater that I uploaded before. The gauge of this pattern is 22 stitches and 30 rows by 4mm circular needles. I had a hard time because I had too many stitches when I wove this sweater. I'm going to convert this pattern into 18 stitches, 25 rows using 5mm needles. Then the stitches and rows will decrease and make it easier. I'm going to draw a picture looking down from above. Cast on stitches of this pattern are 104. I placed markers at this point. 4 stitches for the sleeves and 48 stitches for back and front. Now use app, parents gauge, enter 22 stitches, 30 rows. My gauge, enter 18 stitches, 25 rows. Cast on stitches, 104. Enter 104 and press this button. The calculator set 85.1. I'll change this to 86. Stitches should not have a decimal point. Even number is better. Enter the sleeve for stitches and press the convert button. Then the calculator got 3.3. I will change it to 3. The cast on stitches are 86, the sleeve stitches are 3, and the remaining stitches are 80. So I will divide the front and back 40 stitches equally. I've decided the starting stitches so far. I made a yoke by increasing stitches on each side of the marker. In the pattern, while working 92 rounds, I increased the stitches on both sides of the marker to make a yoke. In that way, I made 70 stitches for sleeve, 114 stitches for front and back, and a total of 368 stitches. I'll convert 92 rounds, use app, enter the rounds in the rows, enter 92 and press the convert button. 76.7 is the result. I'll change to 76 rounds. Next, I'll convert the 114 stitches of the pattern. 93.3 is the result. So, I'll change it to 94 stitches. When the back stitches reach 94, the sleeve and front stitches are decided. At the beginning, the stitches for back were 40. Now, 94 stitches. 54 stitches have been increased. So increase sleeves and front by 54 stitches. Fifty seven for sleeve, ninety four stitches for front. In the pattern, I made 10 stitches cast on 4 underarm when dividing sleeves and body. 
The back and front are 124 and the sleeves are 80. Enter under arm stitch is 10. The calculator says 8.2. Then I changed 8 stitches. So, 102 stitches for the front and back and 65 stitches for the sleeves. I'll check if I've converted it correctly. The most important thing is the chest. The chest circumference stitches of the pattern are 248. Use length calculator menu to calculate the stitch length. Enter gauge stitches 22. And enter 248. It's 112.7 centimeters long. The chest circumference stitches after conversion are 204. Enter gauge 18 stitches. Enter 204 stitches. This is 113.3 centimeters. Compared to the pattern before conversion, it is 06 cm larger. That's enough. Now, I'm going to calculate increasing interval when working on yoke. 54 stitches increased in the sleeves, front and back when I made yoke. In other words, it means increasing 27 stitches to this red point. In summary, increase 27 stitches while working on 76 rounds. Press this menu. Enter 27 stitches and 76 rounds and press this button. Look at the results. So, I decide increasing one stitch every 2 rounds 16 times and 4 rounds 11 times to make a yoke. From the beginning cast on here, increase the stitch like this to make this. In this way, I converted the pattern of the 22 stitches, 30 rows of 4 mm needles into the pattern of other gauges. You will be able to do more with this calculator. I'm not good at English, so I'm afraid I didn't make you understand. I hope this video will help you with your knitting life. Happy knitting!